Hi, and welcome to J.D. Edwards Orchestrator Solutions, presented by Grant Thornton. Today, we'll be showing a use case where we uploaded over 10,000 lines into the Work With Store and Forward Journal Entries application through an orchestration and E1 page. My name is Anthony Palmasano, and I'm an experienced manager at Grant Thornton. I specialize in automation, process improvement, and implementation. I work hand in hand with our development team to design and build enhancements in J.D. Edwards Orchestrator Studio. I am joined today by one of our developers, Devpriya Sudale. Devpriya, please introduce yourself. Thank you, Anthony. Hello, everyone. My name is Devpriya Sudale. I'm a lead consultant at Grant Thornton. I specialize in design, analysis, and implementation of technical solutions and automation in J.D. Edwards. Thanks for joining me today, Devpriya. Today, we want to discuss a project we recently wrapped up where we use Orchestrator's JRuby script and logic extensions to read and load records into the F0911Z1. This enhancement we built overcomes a limitation on the grid upload of 10,000 records. Let's take a look at the business requirements. The business has very large journal entries that they enter each month into JD Edwards. So they needed the ability to load journal entries from workbook file where they create these large journal entries at. However, in JD Edwards, you can only enter or upload up to 10,000 lines into the P0911Z1 application. And since our business partner has journal entries over 10,000 records, we need to overcome that limitation. Finally, they wanted to be able to load the Excel file where they have the journal entry prepared from an E1 page. Dev Priya, how did we accomplish this solution? So we accomplished this by building an orchestrator which comprises of mainly three components. Orchestrator that has the ability to take file as an input, a JRuby component to read CSV content and manipulate the data as we need, and logic extensions to insert data into JDE tables. Besides this, we also created an even page for this whole process from where we could access this orchestrator as well as review the batch we created with this orchestrator and uh, batch approval. Apart from this, we also finalized the CSV format required for this upload. So it looks like there, Priya, that we were able to load about 20,000 records in 90 seconds when we um, implemented this for our client. That's pretty fast. I bet this saved the business a lot of extra time. Let's show the viewers here how this works in our sandbox. Here in our sandbox, DevPriya has got open the E1 page we created uh, for this process. So the first tile there is the orchestration that gets called and we use a file as an input. Dupree, you want to show us how that works? Yep. So a dialog box pops up where you can go and find the file that you want to drop in there. And we have a sample file that we're going to try here. It's got, what, 12,800 records, I think, Dupree? Yes, Anthony. Okay. So you find the file, you click OK, then it'll kick off the orchestration. Um, with this amount of records, I think it's taking about I don't know, 60 seconds. We'll see here. The orchestration will tell us how long it took. So through the magic of editing the video here, we've sped up to when the orchestration completed, which is about 60 seconds. There, Priya, do you mind hitting that I button and showing us how long it took? So if you scroll down here to the JSON output, it shows us that it took about 58, 59 seconds to load that file in. OK. So the file's been loaded into the F0911Z1, batch number 157. Then let's take a look at that batch. OK, so it's going to load all of these records into the grid. It's going to take a little bit of time here. So again, we're going to jump ahead when this has been completed. So while that batch is loading, and I'll say this, it takes a lot longer to open the batch and load the records from the table into the application than it did to actually load the Excel file through the orchestration. That took about 60 seconds. The batch itself in JD Edwards um, is still bringing up all the records for us to inquire on. So that's happening. What we have here is the Excel file that we loaded, and you can see columns A through F or the header fields that uh, we'll see here in a second are loaded into the header fields on the application and in the batch. 
Then we have columns J, H, and I, which have the journal entry information that's bringing into the actual detailed grid. So we had what was it? I think 12,800 something records here, Depria? Yes, Anthony. Okay. Um, 12,580, Okay, so let's go over and look at JD Edwards. I think the batch should be open now, one, batch 157 that we created. So here you can see all the, it was a reversing entry on the Excel file. We had that marked as reverse yes. So all of that data came over into the header information here. And then we have our detailed records that were loaded in the 12,580 and then 81 is the blank line as we know. So all that data was brought here into the application. So um, on the E1 page, we would then go and process these records to the batch processor, either proof and final, and then the whoever is managing these batches at the organization would approve that batch and be loaded in. So this is a whole process end to end, loading the file in, through the E1 page, it took about a minute for this amount of records. And of course, as we add more records, it will take a little bit long, longer time, but you know, under a minute for that many records is a lot faster than loading it into the grid um, through the application. Then we just looked at the batch review. And then the next part of the process again is looking at the proof and final mode of the batch processor. So with that said, that Priya, let's look at, let's talk about uh, the learning opportunities we had uh, for this uh, solution that we created. The learnings we had while developing this solution were, since we knew we were directly going to hit the JDE tables, we used the audit business function in logic extension to add the audit data to all the records. Besides this, we were also getting comfortable using the new orchestrator functionalities, such as file as input, a JRuby scripting to read the CSV content and uh, logic extensions with array to load the large data sets into directly into the JD tables. Yeah, these new tools that JD Edwards has in the Orchestrator Studio make creating solutions like this much easier. With this new new tool set, we were able to overcome some of the limit limitations that the applications had. All right, let's talk about what went well with the solution. We were able to overcome the limitation of loading over 10,000 records into the P0911Z1 grid, either by cutting and pasting or by file upload. And that's how the users were doing it before. So now we can just load it in directly to the table using this orchestration. Loading the records now only takes about 60 seconds for 10,000 records, 90 seconds for 20,000. And this is a huge win for efficiency for the business because it was taking them one to two hours of loading this data in piecemeal into the P0911Z1. We also set up an E1 page that outlined the process from start to finish for the users. And this includes loading the file, reviewing the errors, and approving and posting the batch. And finally, we created a very simplified orchestration that, that is adding a huge value for the business in terms of efficiency. In summary, by utilizing the newest tool set in release 23, we were able to create an efficient process that loads tens of thousands of records of uh, of journal entries in minutes or less. This saved the business hours of work each month. So how can Grant Thornton help your team? We offer multiple services to assist through the JD Edwards install or implementation, anything from a multiple day orchestrator training session to optimizations and enhancements of your current install and even a full blown JD Edwards implementation. Feel free to reach out to us via our emails here or follow the link below to our LinkedIn pages. Thank you for your time.